Hey everyone, it's Adrian from DraftDime.com. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to optimize your NFL lineups using our custom NFL lineup optimizers that I just got done creating. Uh, if anyone is familiar with our channel and our website, you know that uh, that we have our NBA lineup optimizers, um, and I just finally completed the NFL optimizers. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it and. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to uh, how to get to it. So if you go to our website www.draftdime.com and you go to um, you hover over lineup optimizers and you go to NFL, uh, the the optimizers are going to be there. So so uh, I'm going to open up the uh, the NFL lineup optimizer and uh, I'm going to show you how to enable everything so that you can run it. So right now I'm opening up the NFL FanDuel optimizer. This is for FanDuel. And uh, before you click on this button right here that says show me the optimal lineups, you're going to want to enable solver um, and enable macros. So I'm going to show you how to enable solver. Uh, if you go to file, options, and then you go to add-ins. And then where it says right here, manage Excel add-ins, you click go. You go, you go there, and you make sure solver add-in is checked. Click OK. Then you go to um, now. You want to make sure you have your developer tab uh, open on your ribbon. So to en enable that, you go to your options. Um, where it says customize ribbon, click on that and make sure developer is checked, which it is for me. And now you're going to need to enable uh, solver in, within Visual Basic. So now you go to uh, you go to developer, the tab that you just added. Uh, click on Visual Basic. Go to Tools, References, and then make sure that solver is checked. And now you're good to go. You could go ahead and run your lineup optimizer. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that we actually don't have our own projections yet for draft time, our own custom projections. But I'm currently working on the algorithm to uh, to create these projections. So be on the lookout for that. So if anyone's uh, familiar with our spreadsheets, if you've ever used our NF um, NBA lineup optimizers, you have a little bit of an idea about how it works. Um, you could exclude certain players by coming over here to column D and putting an X by their name or you could you could lock a player in by putting an L next to their name um, to lock a player in what that does is it builds a team around that specific player so say you know you want DeMarco Murray to be in your lineup today because you think he's gonna have a good game you go over here you uh, type in L and then he's gonna be locked in get rid of that for Jordy Nelson um, also you can exclude an entire team so if I want to exclude um, everyone from Indianapolis I just put an X where it says Indianapolis um, and then that excluded all the players from Indianapolis um, you can also change the weight that you want to put on each projection so I have in here right now Rotowire's projections number fire projections and I currently don't have any projections for for um, draft time, so that's why it says all zeros. But then that's also why it says zero um, for draft time projection for the allocation percent. So uh, right now I have it defaulted at 20% rotor wire projections, 75% number fire projections, and then 5% season averages. Um, so once you click run, well, um, well first uh, let me explain what that does. Um, that changes the weighted projection in column O. So if I change rotor wires to 30% and number fires to 65%, you see column O change to, to reflect that change. So I'm, I'm going to put it back to what I had it uh, with before 25%, actually, no, it was 20%, 75% number fire, 5% um, season averages, and 
uh, right here I say how many lineups would you like to generate right now I have it set up at two I'm going to go ahead and change that to five and it's going to show me the top five lineups and now everything's good to go um, I got DeMarco Murray locked in let me change that alright so I got rid of that um, and everything's just at its own default setting so I'm going to click this green button that says show me the optimal lineups and I'm going to see what it spits out and there we go those are our optimal lineups for today um, which is January 11th 2015 uh, it's a Sunday there's two games going on right now two playoff games uh, Dallas Green Bay and then Indianapolis and Denver so I'm excited about these games I'm gonna play this lineup right here this top lineup and hopefully I can win some money um, first let me uh, let me go through this lineup uh, we got Aaron Rodgers, Jordy Nelson, DeMarco Murray, Connor Barth, Dan Heron, Terrence Williams, Jason Witten, Devontae Adams, and Denver Broncos defense. Uh, seems like a pretty solid lineup. I didn't even need to lock in DeMarco Murray. He, uh, he got picked up anyways. So feel free to enter this lineup into your lineup for, uh, for FanDuel, and I'm going to show you the DraftKings lineup. All right, so uh, so now I have the DraftKings lineup optimizer open, uh, and if you're not signed up for DraftKings, make sure you sign up for it on our website. Uh, if you click on one of our banners, you get a hundred percent deposit bonus if you if you uh, sign up through us. So make sure you do that because DraftKings, is, I like playing on DraftKings. Uh, I prefer DraftKings over FanDuel for for the NFL because it doesn't include a kicker, and I hate selecting kickers in fantasy because. I feel like they're so unpredictable, and uh, you know it, it, it incorporates a lot of luck into uh, into fantasy football. So, anyways, I'm gonna leave everything in there at the default setting. Um, generate, I guess, three lineups. That's fine. Show me the optimal lineups. And there we have it: uh, Des Bryant, Demarius Thomas, Jordy Nelson, Aaron Rodgers, Andrew Corliss, uh, Zerlon Tipton, James Starks, Joseph Randall, and the Colts defense. So the flex position that it picked up was a uh, was a running back. It went pretty uh, pretty wide receiver heavy with Des Bryant, Marius Thomas, and Jordy Nelson, um, because the scoring for receivers is a little bit more generous in DraftKings. But that seems like a pretty solid lineup. Uh, feel free to enter it. And uh, if you guys have any questions about this lineup optimizer, uh, feel free to reach out to me. If you have any questions about the NBA lineup optimizer, reach out to us. Make sure you check out our uh, NBA lineup optimizers. I post a new one every single day. So make sure you uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel for uh, for updates. Like us on Facebook. Uh, follow us on Twitter, uh, Google+. Make sure you go to DraftDime.com daily to check out our daily content. And uh, let me know if you have any questions or feedback. Have a good one.